Hey, what I want to talk with you about today is how we can utilize a cool tool called Canva for your graphic design and really up your game when it comes to, to LinkedIn and uh, customizing it to what you need it to be. So on your LinkedIn page, before we get to Canva, let's hurry and break this piece down. So we've talked about this in some of the other videos I have around LinkedIn, but the main piece here, when you look at LinkedIn, you got to think of this as far as a marketing funnel um, or a marketing deployment, right? Which is each tier here, so each little section breakout that you can kind of see. So right here is one, here's another one, right? You scroll, here's another one, another one. Um, if you look at each one of those pieces as a funnel, and what you want to do is you want to hook them so that if they didn't scroll any further, they either want to scroll further or they want to follow you, purchase your, your course, purchase your product, hire you for that job, whatever it might be. Um, you want to hook them as soon as you possibly can. So utilizing graphic design and customizing things to be um, unique to who you are and to stand out is going to be something that you really want to take advantage of. And Canva is a cool way to do that because for 99% of the stuff you do on there is free. And if you do want to pay for it, I think it's like 10 bucks a month um, for some premium features. So this little banner up here um, created with Canva. The one I want to specifically go over though is this featured section. So once they've kind of scrolled just a, a little bit here, I think this featured section, it's newer, it's been around maybe a year or so now, uh, but it's still, I wanna say, a very underrated tool. Um, I, when I look at other people's featured sections, they don't usually take advantage of it the way they, they can. What they usually do is if they've had a really good post, they post it here, right, in, in the featured section, which it's not a bad idea, but you can do a lot more with it. And utilizing Canva is uh, something that you can make this even stand out better. So before I learned this trick, uh, what I thought you did when you linked something up, that it would just display whatever that social image was uh, for the link. So if I have my website, I link my website, whatever random photo is hooked up to my website, that's what would display here until I figured this out. And so for myself, this is a great way to um, make things a little more eye-catching. And your featured section, really what this should be used for is to uh, get people to do some type of call of action, right? So for me, I have trying to get subscribed to my newsletter and trying to purchase my course. Those are the two main initiatives I have at the moment. And so I want to post those here. And it also kind of shows people this is what I stand for, more or less, right? You scrolled on my page, more or less, this is what I'm standing for. This is what I try to do. This is what I try to help you with. This is how you can get value from me. So if you're not interested in my featured section here, chances are you're not going to be super interested in what I have to offer. Um, so in my featured section, I don't want it to just display a random photo. Um, I want it to be something a little more custom, something a little more eye-catching, and so what you would do if you want to do that for whatever you're posting here is you can obviously click on this link, right? And I've just been doing links to wherever I'm going. So we would enter in my, um, this is to my newsletter here. If I hit add, this is going to bring up, and, and this is what the thumbnail would show. So this random photo of me, not really what I want it to say or look like, right? But if you jump over to this tool called Canva, uh, what you can see in here is you sign up for an account it's free, like I said, uh, for most of the features in here. I do actually pay the, the 10 bucks a month for the premium stuff. Um, but for the average person, you can get away with using free for quite a while. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit create a design here. And what you'll uh, use the sizing for is a YouTube uh, thumbnail. So you just type in YouTube thumbnail and that will pop up. So I have this one. You can see these two are designed. So it'll pop up, it has the right sizing for that thumbnail we're going to use over here. And then you would just throw in whatever you'd like to. And you might be thinking like, oh, that's cool, but how do I come up with an idea? Well, pretty easy, right? Like they already have all these templates here. So you can either just type something in if you wanted to, right? You could type in, um, you know, let's say you have a gaming channel. Okay, well now all this gaming stuff pops up. Maybe you have a tech channel or you're, you're producing some type of tech uh, content, right? So all this stuff already pops up for you. You literally just click it and this is, stuff is already there. And you can just kind of move things around if you'd like to, um, however you'd like to kind of customize this to what you're looking for. Um, another big thing I would say is to kind of shop around a little bit. So when I went to go and do this, um, what I actually did, 
Let's duplicate this. I actually follow somebody, uh, Justin Welsh, quite a bit, and I saw that he had this on his, and this is where it kind of led me to Google and figure this stuff out for myself. Um, but he had these two up here, and it's essentially the same thing I'm trying to do. I have a course I'm trying to sell. I have a newsletter I'm trying to sign you up to. So I just really copied what he had over here, kind of took that idea and uh, applied it to how I wanted mine to look. So same idea if you are trying to kind of mimic somebody online, uh, somebody that's in your industry or doing something similar to you, I would highly recommend looking at their profile first, see what they have set up. It makes it a lot easier so you don't have to be so creative of how you want to design your own. So you can obviously see on mine, um, that's exactly what I did, right? Is if we jump back over to my profile here, it looks pretty dang similar. I got the phone, I got the product box, um, pretty similar phrasing here. It's just designed to be a little more uh, to my brand colors that I use and it catches your attention. So once you have this, you would literally just click on the pencil icon and then you can select whatever it is. So this one right here, right? We'd select that thumbnail. It's going to upload this thumbnail for you. You can change the title to whatever you would like and then your description. So what I highly recommend doing is this. It'll make it stand out a lot better, make it look better. You can add a little description of what it is that you're trying to get across as far as your point goes. Um, so really cool, easy hack that you can uh, implement right away. And like I said, both of those things, I guarantee for the 99% of you, it's going to be free.